Let's go. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin', man? Happy Monday. Happy Monday, man. Let's go. Let's go. Hope y'all had a good day. But well, we'll get right into it, you know. What's the meaning of your life? You know, and I'm not talking about the woman you want to marry, the soulmate, none of that, bro. What's the meaning of your life? If you used to ask yourself right now, what's the meaning of your life? Like, what are you doing? Do you feel stuck? Are you wasting your time? Are you still chasing chicks? Are you still paying for a pleasure? Are you still what? Like, what are you doing? You have to ask yourself this. I don't care how old. You could be 19, 20 years old. You know, like I always tell y'all, like, most of the leaders are young, you know? And my favorite example, Fred Hampton, 21 years old when he got killed. He was the leader of the chairman, um, the chairman of the Black Panther Party in Chicago, you know? There's no excuses, man. There's no excuses. You know, you have to look at yourself as a leader. I don't, especially these days, you have to, you know? So we get right into it. And for me, the foundation of everything is semen retention. That's the foundation, man. If you want to change something in your life, start that. Start it. I'm telling you, that seventh day, on that seventh day, I promise you, watch how you feel. Watch how you feel. You're going to start seeing, you're going to start feeling uh, like a small change in your life. Especially, well, if you do it, if you watch porn a lot, if you have sex a lot, you're going to see a massive change in seven days. I'm talking about within your soul, not like, you know, a million dollars. Nah. You gonna feel that change from within. So we'll get right into it, man. Um, your best project is you. You know, your best project is you, bro. Anything anything outside of you that you're trying to start on first before you start on this, it'll never work. It'll never work, you know. You have to start from within, bro. All, all things that, that has you uh, in the chokehold, all your um, bad habits, um, all your demons, all that. You got to start on the inside. Nothing else can save you. No material no material stuff can save you. I don't care what it is. No woman can save you. N nothing. It, can, it cannot save you until you start on this project. On this project first, you know? And the next one is... What do you want to build? You know, and man, look, with my topics, I don't like to just talk out of, like out in the air and just say anything. Like, I really be contemplating on what I'm gonna talk about because it's important, man. You know, and people might not listen this year, next year, but three years from now, somebody might need to hear this, you know? But what do you wanna build for your life? And like I always say, it don't matter what age you are, bro. You never know what's going to happen. You might be living with your parents right now. What if they get in a bad accident or something, and now you got to take care of yourself? You got to think about that. You know? If you're, if you're in a relationship and something happens to your spouse, and now it's on you, you got to think about that. So what do you want to build for your life? And as a man, before we get in relationships, before we chase women, bro, we got to think about all that. See, in my 20s, I wish I was thinking like this, but I wasn't. You know, I was, I was with a woman, and if if we got in disagreement, I'm out the door, go and see another chick. You know, that's how I was, you know? But as a man, like, for example, if you got a family right now, like, you want to be looking in that mirror, bro, asking yourself, what do you want to build for your family? Like, you already got your family now, so I don't care if you... If you don't know yourself, if you still learn yourself, you got your family. Like, it is what it is. You know, life ain't perfect, so we got to deal with what we have now. You know, how you want your family to be, how you want your family legacy to be, you know, and you the head of that. You know, so if your wife talking to you crazy, your girl talking to you crazy, hey, it's time to check that because you the head, you know. And like I say, the foundation is semen retention. When you be on semen retention, it's going to be pure. It's going to come from the heart. It's not going to be off frustration. It's not going to be off, oh, he's simple. Nah, it's going to be from the heart. You feel me? So the next one is, where will you be in three years? You know, and I know like um, the only time people think about the future, uh, they say, dang, I'm I'm not where I want to be. Oh, I'm never going to be there. Oh, we get anxiety about 
where we should be in life, but you have to ask yourself, like, where you want to be in three years? Where you see your life in three years? You got, like I always say, you have to write that stuff down, man. Write that down so you can keep going to it. Because when bad days come, you're going to need that to keep you together. When, when bad days come, you're going to need um, your future goals to hold you together, bro, from crashing out. Bro, you know how many people about to crash out um, because the holidays coming up? Because it's a new year, because it's Christmas, they about to just crash out. Some people go commit suicide. Some people go just run away. Some people just going to, like, give up. This time, I'm telling you, bro, like, I think I, I read somewhere else, like, January is, like, the most, um, it's the most suicidal month and stuff like that. I'm telling you, you need goals. And your goals don't really have to be about getting rich. It don't have to be that. It could be things that make you happy. It could be things that make you happy, bro. Because when bad, when a bad day comes, when when something in your life comes to like take you out, you gonna need that. You gonna need that to hold you together. You gonna need those words in your journal to hold you together. You gonna need them pictures from that vision board uh, that's gonna hold you together, bro. I'm telling you, that's very important. That's very important, you know? And the next thing is, you got to keep getting back up, you know? And I know all this stuff sounds cliche, but it's important. You got to keep getting back up, right? Because in this life, especially if you're young, when you get in your 30s, you're going to still be having challenges. You're going to still be having problems. You're going to still be having things in life that's trying to beat you up. All that stuff, you got to keep getting back up. You ain't going to win all the time, but... That's why I say we we'll go back to the words in the journal. You got to have those words to pick you back up. You have to get, keep getting back up, bro, because you never know who you um, who you will become if you give up. And I'm telling you, the worst thing you want to be, bro, is a man in your 30s um, with a lot of regrets. And not regrets because you couldn't get it, but regrets because you gave up. You don't want to go through that, bro, because that's when alcohol becomes your best friend. That's when weed becomes your best friend. And nothing wrong with, you know, like I say, nothing wrong with drinking and weed and stuff like that. But you're going to need it to hide away, to hide the pain. You know, you're going to need it so you don't face the truth. So you always want to keep getting back up. Always get back up, bro. And I'm telling you, seeing retention, that shit is going to make you get back up. You're not going to give up on yourself. You're not, bro. Because you're going you go to think of some kind of solution to pick you back up. It gets real, bro. Life life gets real the older you get, so you got to prepare for it. And you want your best friend to be semen retention because I'm telling you, if you out here smashing and dashing and watching porn while you're going through problems, it's going to make it worse. It's going to make it worse. And I'm, I'm still shocked that this coming from me. <laughs> but, like I say, I had to become this dude, bro, because if I want to be a better father, you know, a better father, I have to become this man. I have to be a different man. I have to evolve. I have to become a leader. I have to. And I have to live the things that I'm saying, you know. So I'm on day 39, and I'm not going back, you know. If I want to after this year, you know, because my goal is to go a year, but man, I'm going that year, you know, I'm going that year. And my and the last one is take your life and take yourself serious, man. You know, it's cool to joke from time to time, you know, because in life, you know, it's a place for everything. But start taking your life serious, man. A lot of women don't take dudes serious because, shit, we don't take ourselves serious. You know? Once you start taking yourself serious, I'm telling you, they're going to take you serious. They, they, they won't have a choice. You have to take yourself serious, bro. And do it for you. Don't do it for women. Don't do it for love. Don't do it for relationships. Take yourself serious for you. Start getting your body right. Start getting your mind right. Start getting your soul right. I'm talking about your soul, soul, like for real, you know? Because it's one thing to be a certain way in front of people. But behind those doors, who you going to be? 
Are you still going to be that same person you talk about or that same person you act like? You know, on senior retention, I'm telling you, you can't hide from yourself. You can't hide. You can't hide from yourself. You can't um, you can't lie to yourself. You can't. You know, so you got to start taking yourself serious, bro. Like, that's very important because a lot of dudes frustrated about women not taking them serious. But what you doing to your life? You know, you looking at yourself as a kid. But nah, bro, shit getting real. Shit getting real. You know, so start taking yourself serious. And, you know, shout out to the guys that's on sim retention that's really doing this because it's not easy, man. It's not easy, but... If you, when you want to change your life, it's not going to be easy. Especially if you made the mistakes that we made. Especially if you was a fuck nigga like us. <laughs> you know, it's, it's never going to be easy. But somebody got to do it. Y'all have a good night.